Hi and welcome to a brand new series here on The People Chronicles. My name is Joe Painter and I'm here to introduce you to the host of our new series, Your Mouth is the Door to Your Health. Welcome, Dr. Tammy Balachek. Hi, Dr. Tammy. Thank you, Joe. Hi. It's Thank great to be here. Thank you for coming here. You came from the Center for TMJ and Sleep Disorders and that's on Route 10, correct? Correct. In mm -hmm. Green Hills? Yes. What's the address? It's uh, 2433 Morgantown Road, which is Route 10, mm -hmm. and it's in Reading. So we're right next to the Penske building. Oh, that's easy. Next to Penske on Route 10 in Green Hills. Website? Uh, TMJSleepCenter.com. TMJSleepCenter.com. And I'm saying that for a reason, because after you hear these stories, you're going to want to find it, or you're going to know somebody who wants to find it. So your mouth is the door to your health. How did you discover that? Well, I discovered that through personal experience. When I was a teenager, I started having migraine headaches that would um, just incapacitate me. I had to lay down, I would miss school, and it continued throughout my adult life. And I had been to many different doctors, neurologists, family doctors, um, ear, nose, and throat doctors, and all they could do was give me medicine, but the medicine didn't take care of it for me. So what was their diagnosis that they were giving you medicine? They diagnosed them as migraines. Okay. People get migraines. I've, knock on wood, not experienced that, but I've had atrocious headaches that are just like, oh, please, and, and you stop functioning. Migraines are much worse. Yeah, migraines are usually on one side of the head. They mm -hmm. can be a 10 out of 10 pain, cause nausea, vomiting, light sensitivity. Oftentimes patients will have to just lay down and sleep yeah, it off for yeah. a couple days. So they gave you that diagnosis and they gave you medicine for it, but did they tell you what was causing it? No, they didn't. They know that the uh, trigeminal nerve is involved, which is one of the nerves in our head, and that nerve is also part of our jaw joint system. Uh, your mouth is the door to you. It's starting to make sense, right. okay. Uh -huh. so, they knew that, but did that come out or was that through research for you? That, that did not come out from the doctors that I saw when I was um, growing up and mm -hmm. then through my adulthood. It wasn't until I became a dentist and I went to a seminar and I heard a speaker say that you can have migraine headaches from your jaw joint being out of alignment. And that's often called TMJ, short for temporomandibular joint. It's that's just the that's big this thing. joint here? Right, located okay. right in front of the ears. It's the joint that connects the lower jaw to the head. So wait a minute, you spent most of your life up until that point dealing with migraines. Mm -hmm. Were you doing things like, am I eating something? Am I not sleeping enough? I changed my diet. I was a vegan for two years, thinking that would help. I exercised. I took sleeping pills. I wow. tried everything that I knew how to do holistically but it um, turned out that it was more of a structural problem. So with the jaw being out of alignment, it was pinching the trigeminal nerve and causing inflammation. And that's how the headaches were um, spreading or being so violent because the, the treatments that I used didn't unpinch the nerve. Okay. So it wasn't until I made myself a mouth guard that I wore at night that unpinched the nerve. You that made the headaches this yourself? Away. Yes. Well, I make them in the office, but I made my own. But so. I mean, let, let's go back to your story. So you, mm -hmm. you listen to this lecture and you think, huh, mm -hmm. let me try that. Mm -hmm. Well, I listened to the lecture and then I started listening to my jaw. And sure enough, I heard popping and clicking noises. Oh. Um, oftentimes, we're not even aware of it. We have the, the noises, but we don't even know that our jaw is out of alignment. Um, some of the other symptoms that I've come across that other people have are earaches. They'll go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, but their ear looks fine. They'll have throat pain. They'll have um, headaches on the side from clenching. So we don't always associate that with the jaw joint, but it's all the anatomy. As, as you're talking about it and these symptoms, that you, they're not unusual symptoms. 
we Correct. maybe experience them or you know somebody that has, the last thing I think that you would think of first, if that makes sense, is, oh, my jaw's out of whack. Right. Correct. So you're already a dentist when you made this. Yes, I was a I, I'm a dentist and I was doing general dentistry, fillings and cleanings and crowns. And uh, when I discovered what was wrong with me and I made myself a mouth guard, I realized that I could not keep this information to myself because there's so many people out there with these same type of problems that don't know why they have them. What and did they're a not mouth guard relief, do? So. The mouth guard unpinched the jaw by moving the lower jaw away from the nerve. And so... You it, have one? I have one right here, yep. It just has little bite blocks in the back so that my teeth can't bite all the way together. And then that creates some space in the jaw joint. It looks just like a, a mouthpiece you'd use for sports except for it's connected. Correct. I mean, not just like it, but similar. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming when you made this, this, this is your, the impression of your teeth. Correct. They're okay. custom made. And so you wear it all, well, you can't wear that all the time. I wear it to sleep only, just at night. To this day? Yes. <laughs> really? To this day. Oh, yes. And uh, it broke yesterday, so I had to bring it into the <laughs> office and repair it <laughs> because I could not sleep without it. And um, that's what many of our patients have also go through, they'll order a second one because they're afraid of losing it or breaking it. So, so they, this becomes they, a gem. Go, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you still get headaches? Migraines? I don't, I don't, no. I, Not at my all. My life is completely changed, so. And you eat meat now. You're <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. I have a normal diet, yes. yes. <laughs> so yes. that's, it's almost, Dr. Tammy, too simple. It seems simple, and we also hear that a lot, that how can this piece of plastic be so um, dramatic of a change for me? But um, a lot of it has to do with the trigeminal nerve, that's the nerve involved with migraines. It has so much input to the brain because it also wires up our airway. So if anything oh. happens to our airway and our breathing, we would die. And so the brain is wired to send a lot of signals through that nerve. And so when we get a headache or a toothache, it's very painful because there's a lot of input to the brain. So it's hitting that nerve. It's hitting that nerve. You know, right. you're talking about this and you know what I keep thinking about, and, and maybe because we hear this a lot, um, sciatica, something's wrong in your back and mm -hmm. then it hits the sciatic nerve and then you have this incredible pain and it isn't the leg pain, it's something in the back, right. pinching a nerve. Exactly. Is this the same concept only up here? Exactly the same concept, right. Wow. wow. This, have you patented and, this? And the reason for wearing it at night, if I can just yeah, step yeah, back a minute, yeah. is when we go to sleep, if we clench or grind our teeth because of stress or um, things that we ate, sometimes allergies will cause that so we can try to breathe better. Those clenching forces are so high at night, that's what pinches the nerve because we're not awake oh. to say stop doing that. During the day we can catch ourselves, but at night when we're asleep, we pinch that nerve through clenching and it causes a lot of damage. Sometimes so. people, and you can see it, they might be um, thinking hard or really concentrating and you'll see they're clenching their teeth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as you said in the day you might stop it right. so you're saying that kind of clenching happens in your sleep right we can wow. generate up to 300 pounds of force in the jaw during the night versus 12 pounds during the day so it's a high force that damages the jaw so it's tmj tmj it stands for temporomandibular joint which is just the name of the bones that mm -hmm. the jaw joint connects and it's often um, just the lower jaws out of alignment, mm -hmm. causing pinching of the nerves and blood vessels in there and pressure on the ear. Generally speaking, are we better at, we across the board, better at diagnosing this? Like if I'm, I take my teenager, I take my daughter to the doctor because there's incredible pain or headaches or earache and it's going undiagnosed, undiagnosed. At some point, are we better at getting to, hey, maybe, maybe you have a TMJ J disorder? Um, I think there are certain providers who are better about it, mm -hmm. like the ENT doctors who recognize that the oh, jaw God. joint is connected to the ear. So if they can't find anything with the ear canal, they'll often say it may be your jaw joint. Um, some dentists are very aware of it. 
But I think in general, the population doesn't know that they right. could be suffering from this, and most physicians don't know because they just haven't been trained in this. You're a bit of a pioneer, or you are a pioneer in, in this field. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, there are no other dentists um, in Berks County that create these and treat TMJ and sleep disorders through dental apparatus. You're the only one, correct? Well, some dentists will do this in their office as part of their other services, along okay. with their cleanings and fillings. Um, we've limited our practice to doing this, so this is all we do. So we can offer more than just the mouth guard, we can offer physical therapy um, and other tools to get the jaw back to where it needs to be and improve the health of, of our patients. Who would think that that causes so many other things? It's certainly worth thinking about and exploring. If you know anybody that has migraines, earaches, sleep disorders, think about the Center for TMJ and Sleep Disorders, and you're gonna enjoy this series. There's so much to learn, and it's really quite fascinating. Dr. Tammy, thank you for starting the series with us. Your mouth is the door to your health. There's much more to come here on The People Chronicle. Stay tuned. Thank you, Joe.